أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأدعو على شبيك الله وأشهد على سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله that we are here again have an interview for Fire TV الحمد لله introducing to you this is Sidi Sheikh Ahmed Abdul Salam son of Imam Sayyid Abdul Salam who was the first Tijani of the African-American community. The only American Muqaddam of Sayyidi Ali Sise, who was the Khalifa of Sheikh Ibrahim Nash. He was raised under the guidance of Sheikh Hassan Sise, and he spent 14 years in Medina by Senegal, where he was studying Quran, and Fiqh, Tafsir, Hadith and also Arabic language. In this time, he spent uh, in service to Sheikh Hassan Sise um, 12, 14 years of his life serving also Iman Hassan. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, welcome to Fire TV. Wa alaikum wa barakatuh. Okay, so the first question I have for you is you know, if you can explain to our viewers, especially those who don't know, who was Sheikh Hassan Sise? Alhamdulillah. Salatu wa salam wa ala maulana rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahabatihi wa ala tabi'een wa tabi'een wa yahmi sani ila yom al-deen. Amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah. Inji shaykh tina al-hal al-mahtadi wa ta'di fi bin azal tintati na bin zafar. Alhamdulillah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, the, thank you Sayyid Rakim for the uh, interview and the presentation. And the question that which was posed, who is Sheikh Hassan Sisi? It is not a question in which one can just answer in one answer, or two answers, or three. Mm. But more, it is one that one can answer with his own lifetime. So the answer who was Sheikh Hassan Ali UCC? Literally he was the son of Sayyidi Ali UCC who was the and also the Miqaddam and Imam and, and, and direct uh, 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 inheritor of Sheikh Ibrahim Yas who was also his grandfather whom no need to be explained about any further. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Hassan who he was a great man, a humanitarian, a Muslim, a person who diligently worked tirelessly to spread Islam throughout the world, wherever Islam was needed. Sheikh Hassan who like I said from the beginning, words can't limit or express the type of person he was but he was a great Muslim mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah so uh, where did uh, Sheikh Hassan study? Uh, Sheikh Hassan he studied in, um, under the direct guidance of his father and Sheikh Ibrahim Yas mm -hmm. also he studied in Mauritania and also he studied in Egypt, also he studied in uh, London, here in London, as you all know. Yes, yes. Uh, as well as America, as well, he studied in America. SubhanAllah. At Northwestern University. Mm. What sort of areas did he study? All the different sciences of, of, of Islam. MashaAllah. After memorizing Quran, mm. he studied uh, the Majalis al-Ilm mm. through his father and grandfather. And went on, and, pro and, and by the time he proceeded his studies in Egypt, mm. Sheikh Ibrahim Yas Ta'ala who said, I'm not sending you to Egypt mm. for knowledge. Mm. Because if it was for knowledge, mm. you have all the knowledge you need Some here in Medina Bay. But I'm only sending you to Egypt mm. just so that, because we live in a world today where paper is recognized mm. more than what lies in the head of the human. Mm. So I'm sending you to Egypt to go and get this paper. When Sheikh Hassan went to study in Egypt, he 
used to teach the teachers. Mm. The own teachers used to study their lessons before they come and uh, teach Sheikh Hassan because they would be afraid that Sheikh Hassan would correct them mm -hmm. in the lessons. I remember when Sheikh Hassan Radulla who said when, when he first started in the, in, in the university, which was Aina Shams in Egypt, that the people they was reciting or reading. And when it came to him, they skipped him. Mm. The teacher wanted to know about who can read properly mm. and without the tashkil, without the Arabic um, markings. Mm -hmm. So when they came to Sheikh Hassan, they skipped him. Mm. And Sheikh Hassan stood up and said, no, it's my turn to read and it's my right to read. I want to read. Mm. So the teacher said, give him back to him the book and they started to laugh. Mm. When Sheikh Hassan stood and read, mm. he didn't make one mistake. Mm. Sheikh Hassan stood and read and the teacher stood up and told the rest of the class stand up mm. because this is a black boy, mm -hmm. a black man, mm -hmm. studying, mm -hmm. reading our language mm -hmm. better than you are can read it all. Oh. And they stood up in ovation and clapped for him, standing ovation for him on that day. And from the day he went into school, he was the number one student. Until the day he left the school, he was number one student. Mm -hmm. To the point where, at the final exams, they said to Shah Hassan that they didn't, you know, want to give him the. They couldn't give him the number one prize mm. or the top level uh, um, uh, award mm. because they had to give it to an Egyptian. Hmm. So what they bribe Sheikh Hassan with, they mm. told him that, okay, what we'll do is we'll give you a second place, mm. but also we'll give you scholarships for all the people who want to come, mm. if you accept it. Mm. <laughs> but he said he could have fought for the first place, mm. but he said he took second place, mm. even though they knew he was number one. Mm. He knew he was number one, mm. and he took what he could take back for his people. Alhamdulillah. A lot of people said that his character was like that of our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Indeed, indeed it was. Mm. Indeed. Just to mention the, a few of them. Before I mention a few of them, you know his grandfather, Sheikh Ibrahim Ta'ala, who said he said it Ida Sara Khairun Nasu Sirta Warahu Wen Halayoman Fal Masil Bait. He said that when the best of man, mankind is walking, I'm walking right behind him, mm -hmm. step by step. For if he was to stop one step or stop, my footprints would never go mm. past his footprints. What he meant, and, and what, what he meant, what to explain, what the mind can comprehend on this text, is that he emulated the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu mm alaihi -hmm. in the way he ate. Mm. He emulated the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the way he dealt with his family. Mm. He emulated the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the way he walked. He emulated the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in every way possible he could. In, he could. Mm. So Sheikh Hassan, who was the direct student of Sheikh Ibrahim and the first grandson mm. of Sheikh Ibrahim, mm. anhu, mm -hmm. he followed the footsteps of Sheikh Ibrahim step by step. Mm. I, when I first encountered Sheikh Hassan Radiallahu in Senegal, living with him, when I used to learn of the traits of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, for example, his generosity, mm -hmm. I would come and I would see it in action, mm -hmm. see it in a tangible form, not just by reading. I would read his generosity, for example, how the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never told someone no when they asked for something from him. Mm. And I would see when people would come to Sheikh Hassan and Sheikh Hassan was, they would ask Sheikh Hassan for something and Sheikh Hassan would never say no. He would say, okay. Mm. If he didn't have it right at that moment, mm. he would say, wait there for me. Mm. And they'll wait. Someone will come and give him hadiyah mm. and he would say, this is the money you asked for. Mm. Or he would call it his, his right hand, which is um, Muhammad Njai, and said, tell him to bring money and give it to a person such and such. The way he gave sadaqah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that one should give sadaqah so much in secret, so much that the right hand doesn't mm -hmm. know what he, what the left hand is doing. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, Shaykh Hassan used to give charity 
and sadaqah to the point where he would even forgot he gave. He would even forgot he gave. On Eid days, after prayer, Sheikh Hassan would stand after Asr and tell the whole city to come to his house so he'll give them money. Imagine this person standing there from Asr to Maghrib time with a bag full of money and just have the line almost three, four blocks down and people just lined up and he's giving. Just standing there, giving, giving. Some people will come back twice and Sheikh Hassan will say, didn't I give you? They will say, no Sheikh, I didn't even give you. He said, okay, here's two more. So he gave him three. Sheikh knew he gave him money, but he didn't refute him. He didn't say, get off the line, I gave you. He gave him money. He dealt with people with love. He loved everyone. He cared for everyone. And those who knew Sheikh Hassan knows that Sheikh Hassan would call you while he is sleeping, will call you wherever you are in the world. And if he is sleeping, he would answer his phone 3 a.m. in the morning. I used to be with him various and many nights where I would hold his phone while I'm massaging him the whole night. He, I would turn his phone off. I turned his phone off once mm. because it kept on ringing. Mm. 3 a.m. in the morning, it's ringing and he's waking up and dozing off on the phone. So I said, you know what? Check is tired. Mm. I have to t take, tr take charge, mm. turn his phone off so he can get to rest before Fajr come in. Mm. So I thought I was doing him a favor. Mm. So I turned off the phone, feeling good about myself. Mm. And he woke up for Fajr. When I woke him up, I said, she said, I mean, who, who, who called? Mm. I said, oh, let me check your phone. I went to get the phone. When I turned on the phone, he immediately looked up and said, you turned off my phone? I said, yeah, I was trying to, you know, he said, don't ever turn off my phone. I don't own myself. The mm. people own me. Mm. I'm, not for this. I'm not for myself. I'm for the people. Mm. And if I want to be like the president, turn off my phone or have a secretary, then I would just do that. But that's not what Allah wants for me. Allah wants me to serve the people mm -hmm. because Allah says, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, mm -hmm. and he mentioned the hadith, Khairun Nas or Sayyidun Nas Khadimuhum. The master of mankind mm -hmm. are those who serve mankind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, I am a servant of mankind mm -hmm. and Allah. Don't ever turn off my phone. So this is how this Sheikh Hassan mm. who was mm. loving, caring, mm. generous, and every second of the day he was teaching. Mm. Whether he taught you through books or just through mere talk. Mm. Every second was a learning time, a learning experience or a learning moment to be learned from Sheikh Hassan. Mashallah, mashallah. And just to carry on from that where you just ended there about his speech. Um, I've heard it by many people who've said that he would, he had a way of speaking where he would say a lot of things or a lot of meanings in just a few words. Mm, yes, yeah. Jawami, we, we, the Arab, Arab the text called Jawami al Kalim, mm -hmm. which is to combine a bunch of words that has meaning mm -hmm. and to say it in, for example, little words. Mm -hmm. Uh, for to give uh, just a, 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 a one example, a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Man samata naja. It's three words. Man samata naja. He who keeps himself quiet, he who keeps himself silent, will be amongst those who are successful. And scholars can write a whole book on man samata naja. Al Kalima to Taim Sadaka. Three words again. The word of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al Kalima to Taim Sadaka. Good words are charity. When the poor asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about giving charity, they said, Well, what about those who don't have to give charity? And he, and he said, Al Kalima to Taim Sadaka. Even just a good word is Sadaka. And that right there, like again, people or scholars can take those three words and elaborate a whole talk, speech on it. Mm -hmm. So Sheikh Hassan, who he was a person like just like that. 
He would say something to you in just two words. And it may over over, over, over pass your head. Mm. You may you know you may not understand what he said mm. until later on in the future. Mm. But you may understand it right then and there. Mm. But once you understand it, you will say Subhanallah, mm. and you can contemplate on what he said for a whole day mm. or for the rest of your life. Mm. So he had Jawami al Kalim, mm. and then everything he said was had meaning to it. And Allah, Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Hassan, you know, benefited me and many other people in America, many other people around the world with his illuminating guidance. MashaAllah.